Today, I'm gonna be upgrading my modem. Upgrading my Xfinity XB6 to the new XB7. So this isn't sponsored or anything. This is just my modem and I'm gonna be upgrading it. See how the experience is. First thing I gotta do, <laughs> this is gonna hurt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unplug the old one. I went to the Xfinity store and it was pretty easy. Upgraded the account, got a faster speed and everything. So inside the kit, I got a coax cable. I'll be using the same one. Ethernet cable. This is a new power adapter. And the new bottle. Ooh, it's got rubber feet on the bottom. Like it's like little stuff like that sometimes. It just gets me. So it's got rubber feet on the bottom. It's white. It's got the power button back here. And then you got all your hookups and everything. So it's nice. And then you've been at the top, the branding at the top with the Xfinity. Where clean design. I really like the rubberized feet on there. So it's just still. Okay. Now you got your 911. That's for the phone. You got your follow these steps to activate X1. And then you have the steps in Spanish. Espanol. That's pretty much all there is. Yeah. So it tells you what's in the box right here. What's in the box? You got the X5 gateway, the power, coax cable, Ethernet cable. And then there's some help phone numbers on there and accessibility. So download the Xfinity app from the App Store or Google Play. Step two. All right, that was step one, download the app. Step two, open the app and sign into your Xfinity with your Xfinity ID. So I've already downloaded it, I've opened it, I've signed in with my Xfinity ID. That was step two. Step three, get online fast with guided activation in the app. So everything's in the app. Those were literally, see, one, two, three. Those were all the steps. That's all the steps right there. One, two, three. So let's go to the app. We've got the Xfinity app downloaded. Time to get your new gateway up and running. Let's get you set up. This shouldn't take longer than 20 minutes. Get started. All right, let's get started. All right, so now it says identify your gateway. Use the phone's camera to scan the QR code located on the bottom of the gateway. So I'm gonna allow the camera. I'm gonna allow the app access to the camera. Turn over the modem. And there we go. To avoid late fees, visit for instructions on how to return it. I'm gonna take my old modem back to the Xfinity store. Right. Next, find active cable outlet. Got that one. Maximize your Wi-Fi. So you know, there's a couple different steps you want to take to maximize your speed and your coverage. Avoid cramped spaces. Make sure your gateway is placed at least a few feet off the floor. So you, want, you don't want to sit in right on the floor. You want it up a little higher. Um, so now it says connect the coax cable. One in the cable, active outlet, make sure your connection is finger tight. Yeah, so you don't want it loose. You want it finger tight, not wrench tight, finger tight, you know, so it doesn't fall off. All right, power up the cable. It says, plug the power cable into the back of your gateway and then into an electrical outlet. Pretty much self-explanatory, so gateway, then outlet. Says ready to go. So now I'm gonna take the modem, plug in the power, coax cable. Okay. Modem's plugged in. It's a coax cable right there. Yeah. All right, there you go. Two connections. We got two connections right there, that's, and that's it. All right, so now it says, please hold tight 
So if you're upgrading or switching them out, it needs a connection in order to go through the software to update. So that took about maybe two minutes. It keeps your Wi-Fi ID and your password the same. So you don't have to worry about changing any of that. It keeps it all the same. I have it here. It says, let's finish up. Or I can change a new password, profiles, devices, permissions, all that stuff just carries right over. I'm gonna finish up now. It will tell you on the screen, it says estimated time for completion. And I'm just sitting here waiting now. I mean, there's really nothing else for me to do. I can tell you a joke. But... So that maybe took five minutes or so for it to update. It says time to connect now on the screen. All right. So where you're going to auto connect, join. That was pretty much it. Three steps. Download the app, sign in. Then when you open up the app, add it as a new device. QR codes on the bottom. Scan the QR code and it goes through everything. You don't need to change any passwords. You don't need to change your network ID. All that stuff is done inside the app. All right, so if you have any questions, leave them down in the basement in the comments section. And uh, if you found this useful, please hit the like button, subscribe, share it, you know. I really appreciate all you. And um, remember, take care of each other. Peace out, and I'll see you all soon.